I tried to zoom in so you could get a good look at the fingernail and see what's happening, but I just basically put the blank back on my sanding jig and we're just gonna touch it against the wheel. The nice thing about doing that is we just guaranteed that the ends of our blank are perfectly square and are going to fit wonderful against the components of the pin. Let's go ahead and use this bottle brush one more time. Notice the dust and dirt coming out of each of the blanks. <laughs> That's from the sander. We're going to go ahead and put this front blank back on the lathe. We'll put it between the turning bushings and we're going to get it micro mesh, get some wax on it. And since I've handled this one so much, I probably will just put some more wax on by by hand uh, before I start and just let that set and dry and then we'll buff both of these blanks uh, as soon as we get this one polished with the micro mesh. Just want to have a little layer of wax on this blank and I think uh, I think it's going to buff up nicely but I just wanted to put a little more wax on there since I've been handling it. Ready now to micro mesh this blank. Just gave that blank a quick run through with the micro mesh. Don't want to get too aggressive because you'll take that thin layer of CA right off. Time for a little wax. Buffing this blank is going to be just a little more challenging since the bushings were for a B mandrel. They just will not fit on my mandrel. So I'm going to have to attempt to hold these blanks by hand as I buff them. It's not a huge deal. You just want to be really careful not to let the blank get out of your hand because it will throw it across the shop. Take a look at the difference between the unpolished side and the polished side. We got a little more buffing to do, but uh, it really, really makes a nice difference. Take a look at that. Notice that line across there, how nice it looks. One more dusting with the bottle brush and these blanks are ready for assembly into their kit. This will be my first time assembling one of these kits so I'm a little nervous but I feel pretty confident because I've laid all of my parts out and I have a plan. I know what goes where and I know how I'm going to press it together. So what we're going to start with is we'll grab our uh, bushing, we'll put it in the front of our tube. We've got our little threaded section. We'll put that in our tube. Get it placed into our press. Now it looks like I need to tighten my press up a tiny bit. Okay, very carefully we're going to press that section in. We can remove the bushing. Let's press the other one in place.
we're ready to go ahead and press the trim ring onto the cap. And basically, we'll just place it, we'll put it into the press, and press it into place. But let me give you a little tip. Let's say that you have matching grain. It's not an issue for me. My grain's all over the place. But if you have matching grain, you can go ahead and thread the trim ring onto the lower half of the pin, and then you can lay your pin cap on the ring, twist it and adjust it to where you want it. You put it in your press, just give it a little touch to hold it in place. Then you can unthread the lower half of the pin, and you can go ahead and put the cap into the press and finish your press. And what that will do is guarantee that while your pin is assembled, your grain is gonna match. To finish our press, we need to go ahead and put this little threaded grommet in the back of our cap. Notice there's a little line right there. That section has kind of a taper to it. So we wanna make sure that it goes in first because it'll be easier to press. I'm just gonna press it even with the cap of the pin. At that point, we can take our finial, put it through our uh, clip, and then just thread this onto the pin. Get it good and tight. This is the back of our pin. It'll just thread into, actually, does that thread or press? Looks like that presses in. Well, neither of our components is a press component. That is odd. Both ends of the pin are threaded. Hmm. Well, let me take a look at the instructions. I would have expected this to be threaded so that I could thread it into the back of the pin. Well, I can't see anything that really talks about this particular cap. And you can see what I'm, what I'm referring to. This is a press piece, and this is threaded on the inside of here and on the inside of there. So I guess we're just going to attempt to press it into uh, the back half of the pin. Well, let's take a close look at our pin. We'll press it into this half here. This kind of caught me off guard in the past with the classic elites. Uh, those are not threaded. They are actually, um, I'm sorry, those are threaded as opposed to just being a press fit. So I hope this is right. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's get our nib. There's the nib. It's not a bad looking nib. We have a converter here. This will press in and we can twist this and pull ink up into the converter for writing or we can use cartridges. I'm not gonna install either one of those now. Most likely I will use the converter. We're not gonna install that just yet. This, well actually let's go ahead and install the converter because I can guarantee you I will use the converter. You can see the plunger going down. You dip this into your ink, twist it, and it will pull the ink up into this tube. And then you can set it inside of your pen, thread it in, and that's your pen. Cap is postable at the other end of the pen. And you've got a, a beautiful writing instrument. So I'd like to thank you for joining me in the shop today. Uh, this was a fun pin to turn. It was a challenge. There were a few things that we had to face. Uh, for example, the bushings were a B-sized bushing, uh, not the normal size I'm used to. We had to make a custom uh, nonstick bushing because of uh, the way we have to trim the end of the tube off for the chrome ring. But uh, those challenges are the ones I enjoy facing. Uh, I'm gonna give a this pin probably about a five and a half on a scale of one to 10. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of this kit. I do not like the black end on the pin. The threads are kind of rough and they're just not real smooth. Uh, I didn't like the fact that I have a threaded 
insert back here and I had to press a cap into it. Um, the finish on the pin, while I'm not a fan of gold, the finish isn't bad on the clip and the ring. Um, but again, I don't like this black section down here. So all in all, I'm not a huge fan of this pen. What I am interested in, though, is how well does it write as a fountain pen? Uh, that's what I want to know, because if it writes well, I will take the nibs out of the other three or four of these kits that I have, and uh, I will build custom pens for them just using the nib section. I'd like to thank you for joining me in the shop today. I want you to know that you are always welcome in my shop. Come back and see me again real soon and have a great evening.